Well, Peru Valley Park um, is is the last of the, the three projects that we have um, that were approved in in 2010 by the voters. Um, it, it's being uh, constructed off of South Point Prairie Road, uh, which is in the very southwest region of, of the community. Uh, in fact, we border up to unincorporated St. Charles County. Uh, we're that far south and west, but. Uh, uh, it's, it's an area that we know that we've got a lot of growth in the community. Uh, obviously, we've got um, David Hochul Parkway that's going in there just north of this facility. Um, and like I said, we're seeing a lot of residential growth, uh, commercial growth in that direction. So um, again, we're located in what we think will be a future growth pattern for, or growth area for the, for the city as a whole. Well, right now, um, we've, uh, we just came off of a, a couple days of rain here, and, and so things are a little bit slow right now, but uh, we've finished up the rough grading uh, phase of this and uh, are currently uh, in the process of laying the base uh, course for the asphalt, so the parking lots are all going in. Uh, we've also got contractors on site that are, that are getting ready to grade the ball fields and install the fences and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, we've got uh, contractors queued up to uh, come in and install the restroom facilities and the, and the concession facilities. Uh, so they're kind of stacked up right now. Uh, again, the, the, the more the weather holds off, the more we're able to, to keep plowing forward and, and get a lot of work done. Um, you know, when you, get, when you get rain like this, uh, it does impact some of those. Obviously, the guys uh, that are grading fields and stuff like that, it really slows them down. But the guys that are doing asphalt, they're able to keep chugging along and get some work done. So. Um, that's, that's where we're at in the construction process right now. Well, as we had mentioned earlier, uh, this, this facility has um, uh, four full-size softball and, and baseball uh, fields uh, as a part of the first phase. Uh, it also has roughly um, a mile worth of trail out there that will be going in as a part of this. Um, we also have uh, uh, a number of, of what I call passive uh, recreation areas. We've got some areas out there that will eventually be an amphitheater, so you've got uh, some fishing possibilities there because it's right next to a little lake uh, that will go in as a part of this first phase. Um, but again, it's pretty basic. Uh, as I mentioned before, it goes in in phases. Uh, the future phase uh, of, of, the, of the, or the next phase of the project will be to come back and install three or four additional fields uh, out there as space allows and funding allows, of course. But uh, um, there's, there's also hopes that we'll be looking at a grant to uh, be able to go in there and install a playground facility as a part of, of finishing this project up. So, Yeah, the, the budget for this facility was, was right at $6 million. Um, there's been a number of things done. Uh, it, you know, this is part of a series of three projects uh, that, that had um, been approved by the voters in the community. And uh, this is the last one. So as there's been overruns in the front end of the, of the, um, uh, the first three projects, uh, we've had to make cuts uh, and, and then find ways to try and, um, and maximize our dollars to be able to go ahead and, and uh, try and build facilities back in or, or reinstall those things that had been cut previously. And as an example, uh, when Heartland Park was uh, approved, uh, the, the um, uh, the direction was given to add a second synthetic turf field there, which was about a $400,000 um, addition. Well, that was cut from trails and playgrounds and stuff like that at, uh, at uh, Prue Valley Park. And what we've had to do is we've gone into the project and actually we're kind of working as the general contractor in this, um, which adds a lot more workload to what we're doing, but it allows us to be able to, to save those dollars that would otherwise be going to a general contractor. Uh, and, and it allows us to break those, those pieces and parts a little bit and, and kind of control uh, exactly what we want to see as far as an end product uh, for, for, for the users and, 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 and put the very best product we can out there. Well, what we're looking at next is as we uh, start going through the process here, uh, start getting some of the things like the restrooms and things like that done, then, then our staff's also going to start kicking in here. and We're going to be buying bleachers and getting things like uh, uh, landscaping installed and, and uh, there's, there's a number of projects that we've done as a, as a part of this overall project uh, where we're going to handle those in-house in order to um, again maximize the amount of, of dollars. I, I mentioned landscaping. Uh, we've got a, a um, uh, I, sh I should probably mention that the facility is, uh, is actually being built in phases and that the, the, um, the first phase is, is, is four fields but there's a, a future expansion or future phase which will include adding three additional fields. Uh, we're going in there and doing the, doing the final grading on some of that stuff. We're looking at the possibility of seeding some of those areas 
Um, and so a lot of that kind of stuff's getting ready to kick in there. Uh, the, the final work that we have yet to bid and we'll work with contractors on is installing the maintenance facilities out there. Um, and that will probably start on here first part of May with the idea that uh, we'll be constructing sometime uh, late summer, early fall. Well, that's, that's one right now I'm not really, to, really ready to uh, fully commit to. But what we are, uh, what I will share with folks is that we are budgeted to uh, see this project um, uh, possibly be staffed and, and ready to go here uh, first part of September. And uh, again, that's the reason I'm hesitant to, to really put dates out there at this point is uh, if we have a summer like we had last year where it's incredibly wet, uh, all the construction schedules could slide. And I just, I'd, I'd much rather be in a position that we can sit here and say, yeah, we're going to open up in, in 30 days. But uh, we're not there yet. Uh, I feel pretty confident with the work that's, that's, that's out there that uh, if we have a halfway reasonable construction season uh, that we can be open sometime this fall.